joining us now from Ankara, Giray Sadok is the Director of European Studies Research Center at Ankara Yildirim Bayezid University. Good to have you, Giray. All right, when President Erdogan says he wants a dignified end to the war, what does he mean by that? He first uh, underlines that uh, Turkey's position with respect to regional conflicts uh, in Syria, Ukraine, and uh, uh, Greek provocations in Aegean and Eastern Mediterranean, Turkey aims for diplomacy to be uh, to be the the way to solve those problems. So it is important to understand this uh, broader framework first. And secondly, we see that wars lead to no end but stalemate. We see that in Syria, and so far uh, we observe that in Ukraine as well. Therefore. Uh, President Erdogan's call uh, for uh, diplomacy and dignified peace is significant in itself. This, is, uh, this has been done for a while uh, by Turkey, including in mediation efforts for UN broker deal uh, on grain deal, uh, also between Russia and Ukraine. But also President Erdogan reiterating that at this global stage uh, of UN General Assembly is significant. Okay, so. When you look at the diplomacy that has gone on between the two leaders of Turkey and Russia, the grain deal was a major starting point, but it seems like Vladimir Putin has been unwilling to go beyond that as Erdogan repeatedly presses him to bring this to an end. Uh, this is what it looks like, uh, perhaps, but also President Erdogan underlined uh, that his impression from President Putin was uh, toward uh, toward the peaceful solution uh, in in Ukraine, so um, that exactly. could be but, a, so a what, way a way what, out of that. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I mean, that's what we've been hearing. But given these announcements today, that Vladimir Putin is going to send hundreds of thousands of more soldiers into Ukraine and try to annex four provinces, a significant portion of Ukraine's landmass. How is Turkey likely to respond to this? That is an important reminder. Uh, we need to look uh, actions and words in international politics. Actions speak louder than words. So it is important the messages President Putin uh, gives, but also the actions on the ground uh, need to be um, coherent with those messages. And that puts Turkey uh, in an important position, however, in a difficult position as a key uh, NATO ally in the region and also with the Turkish Straits uh, under uh, Turkish control as a gatekeeper in the Black Sea. Uh, that uh, puts uh, Turkey's relations with Ukraine and Russia uh, under pressure. Uh, so, uh, and that makes Turkey's role in this process more important, however more challenging. So when you do hear President Erdogan say there needs to be a dignified end to the war in Ukraine, is he saying that Russia in some way needs to save face to get out of it or that they, they need something in return in order to stop this? Well, President Erdogan, by saying dignified, it is meaningful, but uh, he did not qualify uh, exactly for whom. Here, uh, by both assumption, we can assume that dignified for both sides on the conflict, uh, which uh, they can also live up by that. I think that dignified word is also important to have a sustainable peace in the region. Therefore, not only for uh, Russia and Ukraine, but also for broader Black Sea uh, security and neighboring countries, that dignified peace is important so that it can be sustainable and uh, it can help for regional stability. All right, Giray Which is also Sadek. important for Turkey. Understood. All right, Giray, good to talk to you. Thanks.